Hello students, welcome to our channel Rajesh Biology and I am Rajesh MSA Zoology. In this video, I am going to teach about incomplete dominance and back cross. Before going to know about the incomplete dominance, these are the two questions uh, which I already gave in last video. In previous video, we have two questions in the practice questions. Ki, what answers uh, These are the examples for uh, monohybrid cross, yellow and green. In that yellow is dominant over green, so F1 all hybrids are yellow seeded plants. And when we do a self pollination in F1 hybrids, they give this type of uh, phenotype, sorry, genotypes. In this, these three are yellow in color, one is green in color. In that, mm, homozygous dominant, heterozygous dominant, and homozygous recessive. This is the genotypic ratio, and 3 is to 1 is the phenotypic ratio same as in this also so you already know the monohybrid cross and test cross test cross is nothing but uh, to know about the heterozygosity or homozygosity of the f1 hybrid for that purpose so we cross the f1 hybrid with recessive one like this then we get one is to one ratio that is a uh, round 50 percent and wrinkled 50 percent that is known as a uh, test cross right in this video, I am going to teach about incomplete dominance and back cross. Incomplete dominance. Before going to know about the incomplete dominance, uh, just recall the complete dominance. This is the Mendel cross, monohybrid cross. This is also a Mendel monohybrid cross. According to, it is the stem length and it is about uh, seed color. In stem length, tallness is the dominant over shortness. Even though all F1 hybrids have short character, in its chromosomes the phenotype is tall because of complete dominance the tallness is completely mask the shortness character as like in yellow also in this condition yellow color completely dominate completely mask the green color character so yellow color is exposed in f1 hybrids and come to the snapdragon flavor snapdragon flavors are two colors there are two colors in snapdragon flower that is a uh, red and white these are the two pure breeds okay when we fertilize in between the these two breeds okay manam pollination chesam anukundam red color flower ki and white color flower ki what we expect actually according to the mendel we expect uh, there is all color all the f1 hybrids are red in color this is the our expectation according to mendel because it is dominant over the R. But here, interestingly, the red color is not completely dominate the, not completely mask the white color nature. It just, uh, it, it, it is not feel free to dominate the white color. Koncham hesitate out to koncham mohammad padta na matra, koncham ga cover chest on the, complete ka mask shet le It is not completely mask the white color, uh, it uh, somewhat feel fear to mask the white color. Ye mohal mali maan kote asthne mo, thitte asthne mo nani, koncham bayam bayanga bayam bayanga, half of the character ni di mask chest on the. So it is now na the semi inheritance, semi dominance, semi dominance or incomplete dominance. Okay, then what happened? All F1 hybrids are pink in color. A new character is appeared in the F1 hybrid. So it is not following the Mendel rule. An unguntama, right? But it is wrong. It follows the Mendel rule because when we cross the F1 hybrids, that means self-pollination, third step, they produce two types of gametes. You already know that's why in the, in the clear the Vedam Ledu, the two types of gametes of the This is the character and these are the gametes. Like here also same. Okay. When we pollinate the or self-pollination occur in F1 hybrid, this type of phenotype will be appear. Both are homozygous dominant means it is red in color. Okay and heterozygous dominant like this here and here heterozygous dominant both are pink in color 
like this okay and come to the homozygous recessive homozygous recessive it is white in color like this white so the recessive character is appeared in the f2 generation as like the remaining monohybrid crosses in a pea plant but the snapdragon flower is somewhat different in the snapdragon flower the dominant characters of that flower is somewhat it is not feel free to mask the entirely mask the adjacent character so what happened what is the phenotypic and genotypic ratios the phenotypic and genotypic ratios of the incomplete dominance is 1 is 2 2 is 2 1 it is the genotypic ratio of monohybrid cross f2 generation you already know this here also it is the genotypic character because homozygous dominant 1 and heterozygous nature 2 and homozygous ratio is 1 1 is 2 2 is 2 1 it is the genotypic ratio when come to the phenotypic ratio interestingly the phenotypic ratio is 1 is 2 2 is 2 1 because 1 red color and 2 pink colors and another one is white color so in incomplete dominance both dominant sorry both genotypic and phenotypic ratios are same 1 is 2 2 is 2 1 it is very important in incomplete dominance genotypic ratio is 1 is 2 2 is 2 1 and then what is the phenotypic ratio phenotypic ratio also 1 is 2 2 is 2 1 whenever it is not a incomplete dominance it is a complete dominance then the phenotypic ratio is changed into 3 is 2 1 clear about the incomplete dominance I'll give another example before that back cross. This is the back cross. Before going to know about the back cross, just recall the test cross. Manan test cross in the To know about the heterozygosity or homozygosity of F1 hybrid, we just cross the plant with recessive one. And man F1 hybrid loch in a tall plant, recessive one to man cross chassis. If re the result is one is to one ratio, that means tall plants 50 and dwarf, man, dwarf plants 50% uh, of the then it is a heterozygous plant or all the plants are tall it is known as a homozygous tall so to determine to confirm the f1 hybrid heterozygosity or homozygosity we just cross with the recessive parent and that cross is known as test cross you already know this okay come to the back cross back cross means crossing of f1 hybrid with any one of the parent either dominant or recessive so one of the back cross is nothing but a test cross simple if we do the test cross it is also nothing but a back cross simple ga chapalante all the test crosses are back crosses but all the back crosses are not test crosses because there is dominant also so Pollination of F1 hybrid with any one of the parent, either homozygous dominant or homozygous recessive, that cross is known as a back cross. And this cross is known as test cross. Then what is the main difference between back cross and test cross? Test cross is for knowing the F1 hybrid homozygosity or heterozygosity. But back cross is for to obtain our desirable characters for example come to the snapdragon flower okay and here is red color flower and this is the back white color white color flowers are like this okay and we get pink colored flowers in f1 hybrid due to incomplete dominance but we know but we need only red color we don't need any one plant as a white color we just hate the white color so we get we want only red color plants for that purpose we do back cross with the dominant parent whenever we cross with dominant parent we get two types of plants that is red color flowers and red color flowers and again 
pink color flowers here also pink color flowers so there is no white color flowers in this type of grass and all the offsprings are either red or pink in color for example we if we cross with the same f1 hybrid we get a 1 is to 2 is to 1 ratio flowers that means red and pink and white color but we need only white color flowers so we cross the this plant f1 hybrid with recessive one for that in this type of cross there is no red color flowers only pink and white color flowers are up here these two are pink color and these two are white in color there is no red color flowers so back cross is for to obtain the desirable characters and test cross is to test the f1 hybrid so all the test crosses are nothing but back crosses but all the back crosses are not test crosses so this is about the test cross and back cross and incomplete dominance these are the conclusions what we learn up to now that is complete dominance in complete dominance genotypic ratio is 1 is to 2 is to 1 and phenotypic ratio is 3 is to 1 in that example is stem length in pea plant in that uh, tall is the dominant over dwarfness dwarfness is the recessive character so this point is clear and incomplete dominance what we already uh, learned in this video that is genotypic and phenotypic ratios are same that is 1 is to 2 is to 1 example snapdragon flower color color of the snapdragon flower there is a two pure breeds there is no dominance and recessiveness these are the two pure breeds when we pollinate between the two pure breeds we get a f1 hybrid with another color known as pink pink color flowers okay come to the test cross test cross we do test cross with a unknown plant with the recessive one if the result is one is to one ratio that is unknown as the heterozygous in nature if all the plants are dominant character that is unknown as the homozygous nature yes next come to the back cross back cross is nothing but cross with the pure breed any one of the parent either it is a homozygous dominant or it is a homozygous recessive so cross with any one of the parent that means pure breed is known as back cross it is for desirable characters to get desirable characters and then we have Xerox teeth to know F1 hybrid and then we have F2 hybrid and then we have F3 hybrid and then we have a number of hybrids and then we have a change in the genes and mutations for example Xerox copy if you have an original paper we have a copy if you have a copy if you have a copy if you have a number of copies if you have a copy 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 as like that in genetics also for that purpose we cross with pure breeds for desirable characters through back cross this is about the incomplete dominance and back cross now it is for our practice a best example another best example for incomplete dominance is andalusian fowl andalusian fowl have two pure breeds they are black color and white color the fowls are black color and white color are pure breeds when we cross in between the black and white which which color we get either black or white or any other color meer ok sari practice cheyandi kavalante andalusian fowl ani cheppi meer google lo search cheyandi vachina fowl color enti annadi meer practice chesi unchandi next video lo deni answer chuddam okay thank you